The rule of 72 is based on the idea that at a certain interest rate it will take a certain length of time for the principal to double. The simple calculation is the equal sign 72 divided by the interest rate. So this is assuming a 4% interest rate for the time that the amount is invested for the principal to double and it would take 18 years. I'm going to copy this formula down. You can see if the interest rate were 8% it would take 9 years, 12%, 6 years. So let's think about that in money. If you had $100 at 4% it would take 18 years to have $200 returned. If you had that same $100 invested at 8%, it would take 9 years to become $200. And if you invested that at 12%, it would take merely 6 years to become $200. Okay, so we understand a little bit about how money grows. Let's look at how debts are accumulated. We're going to look at the payment function. So here we have a car loan of $10,000 over a period of 60 months. That's five years. Let's see what our monthly payment would be at the different percentages given. We'll start with the equal sign to start a formula and the formula is payment. If you're comfortable with payments you might be able to just use the breadcrumbs to fill this out. If you're not as comfortable with the payment function click the FX function window. You'll see something like the illustration below and we'll just fill this in. So the first thing is the rate. Okay? And the one thing that you have to understand is that the rate is divided by 12 months. So that gives us the rate per month if we divide it by 12. Okay? The number of payments we have here as A3 and the purchase value which is $10,000. Just something to know here is that we want to um, put the negative sign in here to get our formula to be reflected correctly. And we want to refer to that $10,000 in every formula. So I'm going to highlight the value and hit the F4 key to make it absolute. We don't need to think about the future value and I don't care whether it's the first of the month or the last of the month. So we're going to leave these two blank. And we click OK. So our payment would be $184.17 at 4%. It becomes $222.44 at 12%. So what's the total that we would pay for this vehicle? If we do the equal sign, we do a simple select the monthly payment times the number of payments that hit enter, you'll see that we pay $11,000, almost $11,050 at 4%. At 12% we're paying over $13,000. let us see how much we paid for interest. So if we type the equal sign we look at the total paid minus the amount of the loan we'll see the interest paid. I'm going to highlight that amount in B1 and hit the F4 key so that when I copy my value it will always refer to that one cell and you'll see that we have $1,049. At 12% it jumps up to $3,300 for the same value car, for the same loan. So it's worth shopping around. Finally, let's see how your money can really grow. By putting in regular payments, very small, on a regular basis for a long time. So our scenario is that it, we can we spend about $10 on lunch. If we were to take that $10 and invest it at 4%, 8%, or 12% for five years, how much money would we have at the end of that window? So we're going to start with the future value, the future value formula. Okay. Again, if you're not as comfortable with the formulas you may want to click the FX to open up this window. We're going to choose the rate. 
again we have to divide it by 12 months because it's 4% annually the number of payments okay so we have to think about it if we have four lunches okay, times 12 months for five years that's a total of 240 the payment amount we make negative ten dollars and that's because Excel will make this a negative value otherwise it's just how it calculates we don't have a value at the end and we don't care whether it's the first or the last of the month we're just going for close estimates Okay, um, that ten dollars again we could have typed it in or in the formula I have here I have selected it as the absolute value reference from this cell so I'm going to select D1 and click F4 and then click OK and so you'll see after five years you'll have thirty six hundred dollars put away if you were to get twelve percent you would have nine thousand dollars put away now the problem with all of us is that we have a problem with continuity right so but let's just take a look at what would happen if you do this for forty years okay? so we'll do the same thing the FV formula we'll do the rate divided by twelve the number of payments this time is four lunches for twelve months for forty years that's one thousand nine hundred and twenty and we'll do the negative D1, make that an absolute value, and say OK. You would have $1,783,000 at 4%. Now remember, in 40 years, $1 million is only going to be worth about a quarter of a million now. So you have to prepare accordingly. $1 million isn't going to be as big as it is today. But look what happens if you can get it to 12%. That's, the, that's what compounding interest does. And take it just one step farther. What if you make it five lunches per month? That's just $10 more per month. Okay. You have the percent divided by 12. And this time it's five times 12 times 40. Our payment is the same at ten dollars we'll make it an absolute value and we'll say okay notice how you could have eight million dollars painlessly after 40 years if you start saving now and when the economy turns around and you can get better investments you can be a billionaire did you know that well now you do because you have time on your side I hope this uh, opens your eyes to what you can do in your lifetime with a little bit of regular savings. Thanks for watching.